we are in uh, the third phase, the Torador phase. Uh, and this one's pretty easy, honestly, uh, at least when you're a lot further in. Um, I'm just going to run through it pretty fast. Basically, you want good fighters, um, but if you're at Nightmare, you should have at least two, two good fighters, which is kind of all you need, if we're being honest. You want to have two... Um, ideally, you want to have two defenders, but it's not a big deal. Anyways, you want to bring two tanks for this stage. Uh, I will bring two healers, because why not? Um, and then I will be using uh, a mage, a single target, and then probably another single target. I'll just bring Silas because I'm lazy. And I don't want to swap gear around again. Uh, just know that these stages are pretty easy. Uh, I'll bring Nocturne because why not. Uh, and we should be good. Um, so what you need to start off with is you want a tank at the top. I would recommend Olag just because the renewable shield is very good. And this is where the very hard hitting enemies come. Uh, so you really, really need to be mindful of that. Um, I will be using Hex Ultimate, and we should be good. I will be putting Hollow at top, so that we can get a bit of Rage Regen, and Hex is going to be doing its thing. Also, North Thrones are uh, stronger this time around, so you want to keep that in mind. Um, just makes Olog tankier, honestly. And Brokir if you're using him, but I'll use Baron. Because uh, I regret using... Uh, Broke here in one of my other phases. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna pop Hollow Alt for the Rage Regen. Um, and I will do Silas at the bottom just to deal with the mages. You could use Idril, it doesn't matter, this is an easy stage. Uh, I will be doing Vierna like this in the future uh, once I get my Vortex up. Just because um, you don't want them to die to the mages. Uh, we're gonna put Vierna out. And Hex is going to be uh, for the top. I mean, Nocturne is going to be for the top, sorry. Uh, I am going to pop Hex Ultimate. I'm going to pop Silas just to clear these guys out because I do have a Hollow Alt up. Uh, Vierna at the bottom is purely just to deal with these two, uh, help deal damage. Uh, you want to do as much damage as possible because when they inevitably walk up, you want them as low as possible. Uh, Nocturne would probably do a better job, honestly. I might swap her out. Uh, halfway through, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. I'm still figuring it out. I mean, this is an easy stage, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I will be Vierna ulting just to deal a bit more damage, and I think I will actually sub her out for Nocturne instead, uh, just for some extra help, and we should be good. Um, hopefully we will be able to kill them off with Hex. Hex ult is pretty good, uh, pretty important. And you just gotta keep cycling that thing. Uh, we are gonna pop Nocturne Alt just to uh, deal with some of these guys. Uh, and we should be good. Um, the top is looking a bit rough. Luckily Olog is a little bit buffed. But this is why I uh, I regret putting Viren at the bottom. Uh, the second I get another shield I might pop his ult. Or maybe we will be okay. I'm not entirely sure just yet. We're okay. Um, it's always a little bit stressful when they double up, but it looks like we are alright. Um, I will keep cycling the alts. I know I'm not doing perfect alt timing, but uh, it is a bit distracting to commentate, but it's whatever. We will uh, get our Vierna alt again pretty soon, and then we could just get a little bit of extra damage on that guy, and we should be good. Um, this guy will come up to Hex's area, but by then we should have another Hex alt. Um, or at least close to it, and we shouldn't be struggling. I will pull these guys back, just in case I get them back to uh, speed this up a little bit, as to not waste your guys' time. Uh, let's pop Vierna ult. Oh wait, <laughs> it didn't execute. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, we should still be good, and we are. Um, Hollow's very good for this uh, stage. Hollow's good for most stages, let's be honest. And that's the first stage done. Pretty easy stuff. Um, definitely not a difficult win. Hex obviously did the most because he was dealing with the most tanky enemies. Just how it works. Um, any single target works. I could have used Nocturne. I could have used Amani. I could have used Idril. I could have used blah blah blah. But it's whatever. So this stage you want a lot of fighters. Um, I like to bring two tanks. Um, Olog and Baron. I like to bring one healer. I like to bring a Nightmare. 
Task Squad kind of. Uh, Abomination is very good for this phase. Um, I have him in some pretty average gear. I haven't swapped this gear set out for a millennia. Um, Arrogance, I'm pretty sure, has no gear on right now. Um, usually I run something else on him. Let me go find what I've been running on him since I swapped this set over. Uh, since I swapped his old set over to Boreas. Um, we do have Arrogance. Uh, not a bad set. I, if you don't have Arrogance, you could use any ranged fighter. You could use any fighter. It doesn't make a big difference. He will not be doing too much in this stage. I am bringing Wrath. Wrath is nice. And I do have my ranged DPS. I could swap him out, but I'm lazy. Just know that you could use any ranged DPS. These are such easy stages. I find the third uh, phase um, on both rotations to be very, very simple, very, very easy, and not an issue. Um, first, you want to put down Olog. Um, and you just have to be careful with Olog because he can die to the axes. I like to aim my ranged uh, unit up just to help deal with them. And you're just going to want to keep triggering their alts. But worst comes to worst, you can bring two healers, aim one up, and aim one to the side to heal the rest of your units. Um, also keep in mind that if something really bad happens, you can just slot someone in like this, and then one of them will uh, get aggroed, and you should be good. But I like just doing it this way. Um, Olag can indefinitely tank for just one of them, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we should be good down here. I like to do Falchia like this, and another one facing up, so like Arrogance like this. Um, any fighters work, you just want to have a lot of fighters, ideally, um, and you should be good. Um, as you can see, pretty easy over here. Uh, we will have another Axe person. I will use Rank. Uh, I, I will use Wrath to um, kind of stall at the top a little bit, um, and it should be good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, uh, I timed it very wrong, but we should still be good. Um, I will save Silas Alt because I know that the kind of boss enemy, the like, mini boss is coming out pretty soon. Uh, it's one of the only times you actually fight that mini boss, this guy. Um, it's like a bootleg uh, Wrath. Or not a bootleg Wrath, boot bootleg Baron boss. Um, basically just use your alt, you know, uh, get him low. I will put Abomination so he aggroes on Abomination this time, uh, and we should be good. Um, once again, literally just put another healer facing up, and you're good. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty easy stage. Um, I could still lose, but as you can see, he's doing like no damage. Uh, it's whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a whatever stage. I know I'm using Silas, but like it's just to make it faster so the video isn't really long. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, you could use pretty much anything. I think even Wrath could tank for this, the boss. <laughs> Anyways, pretty easy stage. Just fighter at the bottom. He heal the top and deal with them. Uh, axes will come for the bottom. Pretty sure that's about it. Oh, two more axes for the top. Whoa, super scary. Uh, I'm not sure why Olog is not getting a shield. Uh, it's kind of strange that he's not getting a shield. Um, I might actually lose because he's not getting a shield. Why is he not getting a shield? Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Olog's stressing me out over here. I, I actually got scared. I was like, am I going to lose after talking all this trash about the stage being easy? <laughs> I almost lost. But anyways, uh, that's the stage. Pretty easy. Um, obviously, ranged DPS will always do a lot. Arrogance does a good job at clearing the bottom because he has the only good gear on from the people in the bottom. Uh, just keep in mind, you could replace literally anything with Silas. Literally anything. It does not work. It does not matter. You could use, like, the worst ranged DPS ever. I think you could do this with Harpoon if you wanted, but I don't have anything else leveled because I've been a Silas abuser for so long. Anyways, this one, Baron damage increase while his damage taken reduces. Uh, this is pretty threatening. Uh, I used to think this was one of the hardest bosses, but I figured out a way to do it. So, the way uh, I like to do it, uh, you do need a lot of fighters, but you should have a lot of fighters, is I like to do two healers, uh, two tanks, uh, let me use Baron, and Hollow, and then I like to do a bunch of fighters. I like to do two ranged ones, I will be using Abomination and 
Arrogance. I like using Wrath just for his Lord bonus. Um, and because he's a good fighter for damage. And then uh, I will use Falcio just for some extra DPS, I think. I don't think it really matters much, but we are going to be using them anyways. And we should be good. Um, so what I like to do to start off is I like to do, because I know that the boss is coming out this lane and it's going to be doing a lot of damage and it's kind of hard to use a ranged unit because then your Olog will die which I think some of you might have known I'm kind of rambling I'm like a certified yapper uh, but um, I like to do Abomination facing down and then I like to do a different range DPS facing up uh, you could do it in a different way but I, this is my favorite way to do it and then I like to either do Wrath here or I like to do um, Baron here. I will do Baron this time. And what you could do is you could put your unit like that. And then uh, you will get your damage out. And as long as they deal enough damage to deal with one at a time, uh, you should be good. Although you could put Wrath here. He generally is self-sustainable enough and you will be good. I will put Aragus down there just to make it so that Wrath does a bit more damage. Sorry, I don't really have like a script for this. I'm just going into it. So I'm kind of all over the place. But anyways, uh, Abom Abomination should get his permanent alt soon, and right before the boss comes out, and we should be good. Uh, I will put Hollow down just to keep them alive, and also give Arrogance his ult more than once. Or, not more than once, just over and over. We should be good. is not going to get any plays, you can replace her with literally anything, uh, and it should be good. And the boss should be coming out pretty soon. Um... Something you could hypothetically do if you're able to tank the top is put like a, a marksman down, put a marksman this way, and then like put Olag one square back. But I don't like doing it that way. It's very iffy, it's very stressful, and it doesn't work on Nightmare, so <laughs> I will not be doing that. I will be hollow ulting though, uh, and we are just going to aim, uh, aim towards getting Olag to live and killing these top this top lane. The top lane is the most threatening. If you're struggling, you can put your spare unit. Uh, if you have a fighter, just up there to deal some extra damage, and then pull them after. Whatever. You could also put them next to Baron for a little bit of extra damage. All you gotta do is make sure that you're dealing enough damage to him, uh, that you're not struggling. Something you could also do is you could do Constance or Mariel behind Olog to heal them. And then you could put a ranged DPS, and as long as your Olog is tanky enough, especially with the modifier that makes Olog more tanky, uh, you'll be good. But this strategy works with any modifiers of any sort. As long as you have a ranged DPS, you could use Absin, Zilla 2, Valkyria, you could use um, Ar Ardia, I guess, and Araka. <laughs> um, but just use what you have. As you can see, Olog is starting to kind of take a lot of damage, but we should be good. Uh, Falchi was going to die, but I mean, she's not really meant to do much, and we're good. Um, ideally, if you are doing Nightmare Void Rift, you should have at least one ranged uh, fighter, or and Abomination, obviously. But if you don't, uh, you might struggle a little bit. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is the way that I like to do it. Abomination and Arrogance, obviously main damage. Wrath does a lot of damage, too. And then we got our defenders. You know how it goes. Um, and now we move on to the boss. Uh, I will do the gold stage after, um, just so I could try to do this in one take, uh, because I do not like editing <laughs> these really long void rift playthroughs. Um, uh, so after flame fusion, Tordor's damage increases by 35%. This is literally a nothing modifier. You will already be able to kill him before. Because we will be using my uh, Tordor G's, I do have two different versions, but I will be using the older one, just because what I prefer to use. But I will be using a bit of an unorthodox team, I won't be using Silas or whatever. As you can see, lots of people like using Legendaries, but I will be using this team. Uh, I tried Hex, Hex did not really work, because he was having trouble clearing some of the mobs. And Nocturne's a little bit better, because he focuses on the highest attack, so he deals with the axes a bit easier. But anyways, I like to put Wrath first, followed by the healer. Uh, just kind of put any random gear on. Uh, Wrath, ideally you want high damage, but it's not a big deal. Um, he's going to do a great job on his own there. And then I put Volca. Um, I did put some decent gear on Volca for this, um, just so that she's actually able to clear some of the mobs. And 
we also are bringing Idril. So Idril is really interesting. I, I'm bringing two platform DPS, which is not generally how you're supposed to do this. You're just supposed to try to burst down the boss, right? But I am using Idril for boss damage, which you will see very soon. Um, Abomination is in order to deal with the axes a little bit alongside Nocturne and also to help deal with the top as you will see right here. Um, as soon as Volca is done killing the bottom, I will pull her. Same with Wrath and Hollow. Um, and I do love Arrogance for this stage, but I feel like I shouldn't use him. Uh, I don't think it is a good idea uh, for a guide like this, so whatever. Anyways, you want to put down your tanks like I did there. Oleg is there um, in front, just so that he's able to deal with the axes, which are very threatening. As you can see, we do Nocturne Alt to help deal with them too while we're pulling our units, and then we place Idril to build up her ult for the boss. Um, but we put Olog there, like I was saying, just so that he's able to deal with the uh, the tanks a little bit better. Uh, I mean, the axes, sorry. Uh, he's just better than Baron for that, and also um, I want Olog to revive in time later. Also, the reason why I brought Volka for this, uh, partially is because she's a decent ground unit, but also because she has shorter revive time and it's very nice to have you do not need to do it uh you do not need to bring her but it's just easier if you're able to get some damage out of her like i do here um we do get another nocturnal you just want a strong platform dps silas obviously is the best whether it's unbonded or bonded i don't think it matters too much as long as they're living make sure your second tank can live and what's very important is you not you down toward or like i did right there before um, before he does his mighty smash, which will uh, immobilize the tiles. Um, and then right here, generally you just gotta watch the feet. I just kind of threw Volka out there, and it worked. Um, and then we can put down our healer, just to kind of keep them alive, and we're doing good. Uh, Volka dies, I am pausing to get my timing a bit better, and I put down Olak, and we're good. Uh, right now we basically just won, uh, and we just kind of have to wait. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any space to put down any fighters uh, in order to hit Torador, so we are just going to struggle a little bit for a little while. Uh, but I will be auto casting my Idril alts, and she will be doing about 10% each time. I'm going to speed this up and probably stop commentating because there's not much more to add. But basically, just kind of leave it here, and you're good. Ideally, you would have a. a like long-ranged um, fighter that would be able to hit Torador now, or you could like do some sort of variation. But I will just be using Idril for the boss here. As you can see, our main platform DPS did the most damage, and Idril did pretty good because she was constantly using her ultimate. She was just there for a bit of extra boss damage and for the end, but there's so many ways to deal with this stage uh, that it's not a big deal. Um, but anyways, uh, we complete uh, Nightmare Void Rift, and I hope this was helpful in some way, uh, all the parts. I don't think I will be having much more Void Rift content, at least for a while. I do have a Praetis vid I need to release at some point. But, whatever. Um, though, let's get into our uh, exclusive forges right now. Um, we have a couple, and I this is post-editing me, so just just believe me when I say that these were really good. <laughs> um, first off, we get a Goddess Grace, which I do consider one of the best tank artifacts. 
And then we get a max out storage, because of course we do. This game really needs to actually increase the storage. They are increasing it by 100, the artifact storage, but um, I'm not sure when, so just keep that in mind. Um, but we should be able to summon the rest of them. Uh, up next, we get a uh, Euphoric Orb. I'm very happy about this, my second one. Um, one of the best healing artifacts. Uh, and then we get a Stoic Winter, which is a Brocure artifact. Uh, it's exclusive, so that's already an exclusive. Then we get Scarlet Hunt, which is alright. Um, and then we get Wailing Skull. I'm so happy about that. Uh, I have actually gotten a bunch of Wailing Skulls this week, which is really cool. Uh, short coming soon on my artifact polls, but that's about it for me. hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.